welcome once again to the channel friends now in today's tutorial we are going to learn about this basic 2d drawing in autocad for beginners it's very simple now uh, let's uh, get the dimensions analyze it and then try to start a drawing now if you look at the distance between these two circles it's written here we are working in millimeters it's 105 okay and then we have uh, this design over here and they are drawn on angles if you see this angle is 30 this angle is uh, 40 degrees and the angle here is 20 degrees the same thing applies down here so we are trying to teach the beginners for practice all right so let's open our autocad and then uh, for beginners i'll just use a line of length 105 so pick a line click anywhere in the space just enter 105 and press enter now this is our line now we have this circle with radius of 18 millimeters so come here select center radius click here 18 and then the next one is diameter 12 so come here pick center diameter and 12 enter 12 good now we can copy let's copy select you can use the shortcut co and then you locate this specified base point so the center point is our base point and just bring it here all right press escape to go out now we want to draw this design but before i do that let me just add a line from the quadrant to this side good just help us to get everything done now if you watch we have this uh arc over here okay which is seven as the center line and the radius is 60 from this place so just pick center radius and then enter 60 so this one is serving as our center line as this all right now from here you could see an angle 30 degrees okay so let's just make a straight line a vertical line for this place all right so in autocad just know that in autocad when you are drawing it read the angle from it goes anti-clockwise it read the angle anti-clockwise so this the angle formed on this line actually will be zero and from here to here would give us 90 and from 90 to 180 okay so now we have 30 degrees here so assume in this place this angle is 90 already so 90 plus 30 so let me just do it for beginners let's open calculator so that uh, they understand what i'm doing all right so here is zero the angle here is zero here is 90 now we want to add 30 so it will be 90 plus 30 which is giving us uh, 120 all right so now you pick a line locate the first point and use your less than symbol okay and then enter 120 and you press enter so automatically you would have your your line that is it going at 120 just let it cross this circle and click good now the same thing we have another angle 40 so what you are going to do is you are going to add 40 to this 120 so plus 40 which is giving us 160 so pick a line again from the center and then press your less than symbol enter 160 and then that is it all right so we have our three angles okay if you watch one is here one is here and then the next one is here so now we have a circle here with radius or we have an arc a slot here with radius 
6 and then this is 15 so let's try we just pick center radius start from here we have 6 then we have 15 we check yeah 15 and 6 so I'm going to copy these two use your shortcut CO I'll copy it and then move it here okay because it's the same thing now I can trim let me trim this to get a clear view all right now we need to draw this slot and for beginners you can there are so many ways let me just uh, use the circle command so pick the circle center radius click the center and then just make sure it touches the end here now if you want to repeat the command uh, the circle command again press enter again click here press enter again click here and bring it here enter again repeat okay so now all is done we can trim all right the unwanted axe and lines make sure you trim carefully okay let me trim this side yeah yeah delete this one good so now let's trim here good all right so now let me delete this line so now you could see we are ongoing now let's let's finish up with this one now you can see this uh, uh an arc here with radius 9 okay so that is uh, from this point so just pick tan tan radius then click here click here then enter 9 for the radius and if you come here here to 27 so tan tan radius click this line and click this arc 27 and press enter now let's trim you don't need this you don't need this you don't need this as well this so let's trim and get what we want and leave what we don't need okay so let's delete this line and trim here okay so if you see we have done it nicely that is the top here is nicely done okay so we are going to do the same thing for the down here if you watch we are going to do the same thing for the down here so when you watch the radius is still 60 so pick center radius from here enter 60 okay and then this time around you know the angle is coming from this direction so here is 180 okay so 180 plus this 90 plus the 30 okay so let's 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 open our calculators for beginners so we have 180 plus 90 okay which is giving us 270 so basically the angle here plus this one is 270 now you add this one and we are going to get 300 so plus 30 so we are having 300 okay so let's pick a line from here enter less than then enter 300 so that is our first line now the second one goes like this 300 plus uh, 40 that is going to give us 340 if you like you can go ahead and use the calculator so 
enter the less than symbol and 340 good and that is it so automatically here would we'll give us the 20 degrees so we are going to copy the same thing or we are going to do the same thing with radius 6 that is this one radius 6 and then uh 15 as shown here so enter radius click here 6 repeat 15 okay so let me select it and copy all right so we are done now let's try and trim to get a perfect okay let me delete this line even as well as this one so that you don't get confused this all right so we are going to use the center radius from here just stretch press enter to repeat here press enter to repeat the same command again and then here now we can trim good let me delete these lines you don't need this okay so let's do further trimming inside trimming and then uh we continue okay so now we are going to apply the same method that we did over here if you watch this arc is nine okay so we need to draw a line let's let me just put a line here yeah and then pick tan tan radius and you could see it's nine right so from this to this nine and then this line will be 27 as shown here the same over here so tan tan radius this arc this line 27 all right and then uh, yeah basically so let's trim let's trim and let's get rid of any line that is not needed and just delete them so we made a mistake here okay just trim carefully so you see this one you can use the extend command okay just to make sure it touches it back that is ex all right so let's continue with the trimming all right so yeah we need to trim inside okay so if you watch what is expected of us has been nice and neatly done okay this is all what the work required us to do if you look carefully everything that is supposed to be done has been done if you want to increase the line width you can just uh, click here to increase the line width but i want to change these lines into uh, center lines okay so you can just uh, just load let's go to other load the line let's go to center line i choose this okay and now let me choose this and this and change it to center line and also i can even change the thickness as well 
properties and then align width i can change it from here to zero point let's say two five yeah and that is it all right so you can go ahead and add dimensions i've taught you how to add dimensions to work you go and watch my previous videos you see how to add dimensions to the work thank you all for watching and see you in my Thank you.